Welcome back to Daisy. In the last episode, you saw me start off this fresh wipe in a beautiful shed base in Svergino. It wasn't much, but it was somewhere safe. But now it was time to move on to bigger and better things. It was time to grab my building materials and head north into the woods where I could build my new solo cabin far away from any danger. At least that was the plan. So sit back guys, grab a drink and relax because this is going to be a good one. Welcome back to Daisy, everyone. You're joining me for the second episode of this series in my shed base. If you watched the first episode, you'll know all about this shed base. If not, you can go back and watch that or tune in now because we are about to move bases, actually. First, I have a little bit of admin stuff to do, but our basic plan is that we are going to run to the trader right now. I need to get a rope because I don't have a rope. And then we can go and set up our flag somewhere. I've marked down a little spot on the uh, on the map, just somewhere that looks kind of nice. And that's the plan for right now. Haven't had any activity from the barn base over there yet. I mean, I'm moving away from them now. You might just see their doors now. No, you won't. It's just behind it. Oh, I hope that everyone's had a good week and is looking forward to getting into a bit of a daisy adventure here. Okay, I need to get some sticks. So I need to find a bush, a good bush. All right, so I have a few short sticks. We need to get a rope. Hardware. Rope. Okay, one rope acquired. And as you see, base spot is 1.2 kilometers away, so that's where we're heading. It's not for sure going to be the base spot. It's just somewhere that I marked out, but it looked good. I need to be at least one kilometer from the trader where I was just now, so hence why I'm running out to the marker that's over there. Okay, we are disappearing deeper and deeper into the woods here. Now that we're across that main road, this is like... This is quiet country up here. Oh my god, someone's already built a base there. Literally where I said. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. They literally put that directly where my marker is right there. It's big too. Okay, well, not here then. Not here then. Let's keep moving down the woods a little bit. The further this way I go, the closer I get to Kamensk, which isn't ideal. Okay, so somewhere here then, I'm guessing. The markers everywhere right now. This looks pretty good. Nice little patch here. Okay, let's make the flagpole real quick and see if we can place it down. Because I don't really know if it will let me. Flagpole. Oh yeah, no problem at all. I'm going to put it like here, I think. Alright. Let's mark this down properly. Okay, so we've got our second flagpole down. And now I just need to go back to base and grab all the building resources. This should be a pretty quick build since I already made the uh, blueprints. And I have all the materials. Okay, so this is the closest town to me. This is Narganoi. There's a base. There's a base in the beige building there, I can see. So that's two bases uh, nearby. There's a litany of other bases in Novod, Severograd and stuff like that. Which we saw in the last video. But uh, straight away on this one, we've got a couple of new bases to worry about, which I wasn't even aware of in the last video. Didn't spend much time here in this town, Narganoi, because, uh, well, it just seems like it gets hit a lot for loot. It's right next to the trader, so I think a lot of people come out of that trader and head straight into there to try and grab some loot, and that basically clears it out constantly. All right, we made it back. And let's grab our building tools. And we'll head straight up there. So I need my backpack. And let's grab these planks. Hatchet. Sharpening stone and nails. And we have kits here. Gonna make a few more quick. I want a triangle foundation kit. Triangle roof kit. Another wall. And I need a ramp kit as well so I can actually get in and out of the base. Hopefully I can carry all those. Okay, so I have a hundred planks with me. I don't think that's going to be enough. Okay, we've got everything. Moment of truth. I've had to leave the uh, stuff for the front triangle because I don't quite have the space for that. Okay, last couple hundred meters now. 
I mean, this part should be safe. <laughs> this is why we're building in the woods, because it's supposed to be safe from everyone. And to be honest, these woods here north of Naganoi should be quiet. You might get the odd bit of traffic coming through. Since we have a couple of clan bases near, we got Konvensk just nearby. So I don't think I don't think it's going to be like no one runs out through here ever. I do think we'll have some traffic, but it won't be too much. And it should be a nice little spot to stay relatively undercover for a week or so. Here we are. Right, let's not waste any time. We're just going to get building straight away. Might need a log for this one. Okay, there we go. I needed two logs. Frame and floor. One wall. Two walls. Three walls. And a door kit there. And then have a roof. Alright. Let's go and get my uh, planks from up here. Where are they? Okay, I'm just building plank. I know there'll be some log cabin fans among you, but I'm not getting uh, logs right now. I'm a bit too scared. A bit too scared of getting jumped. I want to get these walls built as quickly as possible. Alright, and we'll get the roof finished. Perfect. There we go. Let's get a code lock on that. Initiate the lock. There we go. Oh. How are we doing for planks left? Yeah, we got we got a good amount left. 48. It's not going to be too difficult for me to go and get some new anyway. Got to build this ramp. Okay, there we go. And now we can actually get in and out nice and easy. Gonna have to dismantle to expand it later on, but we'll uh, build up our materials again first before we do that. For now, this is gonna have to do. And if I drop my bag, I need to go and get stuff from the other base now. I have a few bits in there that I need to get out, so we'll go and do that. There it is. The first phase. It's looking good, actually. First phase of building. Let's go check out this beige base, uh, now, that, now that we're just running through. Not got anything on me, so it's perfect time to go and have a little look. See what we're dealing with. Just try and have a little listen. Doesn't sound like anyone's home right now. But yeah, one small door. You never know if they've got more at the top of the stairs. I would assume they've got more. Oh. Have to make sure to take the binder, of course. I forgot that I've got to take this. The uh, workbench and crafting book. So I'll grab these now. Alright, and then we'll just leave this space for now. Loads of storage and stuff. There's, like, there's not really anything else to do. But I'm just going to leave that. Let's head back to the other base. We've got everything else. I'm definitely going to need to come back for storage or go to the trader to buy some storage. I think I need a screwdriver to disassemble those ones. Alright, let's get the rest of this stuff in here, shall we? Put my backpack on. Which has got the rest of the building materials. Try and store everything in together, but I've got a bit too much building stuff. We can put our workbench down. That's a start. Okay, it's floating a little bit, but that's fine. There we go. Put my Pokemon book down. My binder. 
So I actually lost my mic's audio for some of the next few clips. Doesn't last for too long, but as you see, I went to the trader and I bought this big storage crate. It has 350 slots, so it set me back like a good 50,000, I think it was, but I have somewhere now to store all of my stuff. I found out that the barn near me is actually a pretty big base. No joke there at all. I then ran down and as you see, I found a Pokemon pack. Woo! As you could imagine, I was pretty gassed, but you guys obviously can't hear that now, so you can just guess my excitement. I open up the pack here and I get... Mm, Raticate. And nothing really good matchup. It was Clefairy was the rare. Not amazing. Anyway, I put the cards into my binder. I kept the spares. I then headed out towards Kamensk, try and get a little bit of loot. Didn't really get much, just a couple of crappy little guns. But once I had secured a bag full of loot, I was not messing around. I went straight to the trader to sell it and try and get something going. I had to make a flip somehow or another. And I found this fancy new trader that they've installed. The P2P trader. It's basically just like a... I don't know how to describe it, but you sort of list something for a price and people can buy it. Other players can buy it. It's very cool. Anyway, my mic's about to start working again, so that's the end of Commentary Nash. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, it's dark. Very dark. I don't have any MVGs. I'm going to have to buy some. Okay, so I can't buy Ronin helmets. Uh, purple is the cheapest. And there are some more expensive ones. This is level 3 protection though, so it's got to be better than the other ones. Come on, we'll get one. We bought that from Adolf Rizla. Not joking. Here we go, and a pair of night vision. Battery goes in there. There we go, we can see. Okay, so I've got my night vision. Time to go and get my key. I can use the fast travel boards that are down... Uh, where is it? Down there, you can see it just there. And that will take me all the way to the Green Mountain Trader. And then I can travel back and forth. Uh, which I didn't realise, and I actually really like, because it means I can use quite a lot more of the map now. How dark is it? Oh yeah, it's pretty dark. Couldn't see much without MVGs right now. Here she is. All safe and sound. Alright, let's grab that Zelena course key and get a move on, shall we? Let's do it. Might be able to make it with the cover of darkness at this rate, I'm not sure. How dark is this still? Uh, it's getting lighter already, it seems. Yeah, 3.38, probably not going to have enough time. Probably be getting light by the time we get there. Time I run to, well, travel to Green Mountain. It started to rain. I think this might be the first time we've had rain on this server. I'm being deadly serious. Well. What do you think that means, guys? Is that setting the mood for a good... For a good run or a bad run? Maybe the rain will make people stay in their bases. They won't want to venture out. Oh, and the rain has stopped. <laughs> that lasted long. We had one minute of rain, and it's light now. Don't need the MVGs anymore. Nice ride, mate. The man. Hey, you have any idea how to sell vehicles here? Oh, uh, nah. Please park in front of the sign. Uh, no, I haven't yeah, sold I one. Am. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. Can you try to bring you over. Key in my hand or something? Maybe try to bring it over to this way a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, maybe like... To It'll be like a little zone somewhere, a little square that it needs to be in. Well, I'd love to stay and help these guys sell their Gunter, but I have to fast travel to Green Mountain. Oh wait, that's Altar Trader. Wait, what? Altar Trader? GM Trader, that's better. There we go. Oh, that didn't take long at all. I'm here. I'm literally here. Okay, let's mark the prison. Red. X marks the spot. Alright, one and a half kilometers. One thing I don't really have is ammo. I'm a little bit worried about that. But it's fine, because I'm going to get guns. I'm going to get guns from the key room. So I just need to sneak in. And then sneak back out again. 
We are full grubber mode tactics right now. It's late. I'm up late playing. I want to get this Salerno key loot. I don't want to lose it, so... I'd rather just not get in any fights, get the loot and get out. That sounds really good to me right now. If anyone kills me now, even though I've not really got anything, just having that Zelina Gorsa military prison key is like a big one. Okay, we are leaving the safe zone. Probably should have approached in the tree line, but I don't care. I feel like it should be quiet at this time of night. I'd be really surprised if you got campers. Ha, <laughs> and it starts raining it again. Okay, sending it straight down the main road probably isn't the best strat. But I'm just going for it. As the crow flies right now. Oh, I always forget about this barbed wire. Okay, we're rocking up. I'm trying to be really quiet so I can just pay attention. Okay, let's just check there's no campus. Got a gun straight as well. Uh, straight away as well. Okay, let's do it. What we got? Oh, let's to get down. Uh, filament. VHS tapes. We got Bitcoin, some rounds. What's that? Oh, a 338 rifle. Yeah, I got a mag for it. Okay, that'll do. Right. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Let's go. Okay, got some big loot from that, guys. I don't want to celebrate too much just yet, though. we got to get out of there still. I've got so many markers this way. I know it's gross, but I'm just sending it. And the rain starts once more. Looks like we're having one more little round. Zombie. Oh, on the roof. Not sure where the trader actually is. Up oh, this way somewhere, I'm guessing. Past the houses. Alright, made it to the Green Mountain safe zone, guys. What did I even get? A DVL mag. We got the Chod Filament, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, Chod Filament. We got the 3D printer filament, which I'm pretty happy about. Oh, we'll be hanging on to that. And, uh, yeah, we've got a couple of good guns. An AK-12. So I've got three AK-12s now. I can actually take the mag out of this one. Yeah, super happy with this. SRS A2 Covert Desert Tech. It's a 338 rifle. Got a mag for it, but I need a proper scope. That's the only thing. Get myself a proper scope and I'll be all good. This one is coming along nicely now. I'm uh, glad that one paid off. I got a Bitcoin as well. Which I'm guessing is worth a little bit of money. Mrs. Doubtfire on VHS. And what's this? Grizzly First Aid Kit. It was more than an IFAC and saline four times. There's no way to refill. Okay, so it's a healing. It's a med pack. Uh, wait, where's the fast travel board? Let's just go back to... Let's go back home to the cliff trader. Oh, wait. I thought it was going to be there. Um, hello? Oh, it's over here. That Chad. Uh, okay. To Novo Cliff Trader. It worked. Yes. <laughs> We're home. Have they just left the car here? They just locked it and left it. Okay, well there's another vest. I'll, t I'll, I'll take the vest because it's black. I always prefer the darker colours. You know what? I think we get rid of those guns. Oh, I shouldn't have got rid of the attachments. I didn't really see. Okay, this Bravo 4 optic I'm going to put on this. And we will uh, run this, I think, as our gun. MK18. Jewel magazine is 22,000. Yeah, go on, we'll just do that. Take a jewel mag. That'll get the job done. Okay, so I've got some high tier stuff that I can't sell. And some rounds. A couple of guns now, though. Seems a bit sacrilegious to sell all of them. Good run that though, and we got some 3D printer stuff. And uh, we can buy a 3D printer from this trader here. 
this is a player to player trader they've added. So you see people are listing C4 hey, and stuff. Oh, yo. Do you want to buy a car, man? Uh, how what much? You for 35k, bro. Great deal. It's sorry, usually sorry, it's 150 in the thing. It's 150, so, so 35k is a really good price. We're just trying I, to get I, rid of it. I got 25,000. That's no bullshit. I got 25,879. So, I mean, that's my best offer. Alright, man. Yeah, we can do that. It's fun. Sure. We just can't rid uh, of it, bro. You can have it. We got another yeah, car. Yeah, so. we we just trying to get rid of it, to be honest. Okay, alright. Uh, well, there's the cash there. I thought you were at that. You got the key? Right here. Oh yeah, I got it. Nice, thanks. Come on, over here. Over here. So you can't sell it, no? Uh, nah. It's not letting us sell it for some reason. I don't know why, but... If anything, you can yeah. just have it, man. There you go, bro. Ah, well, thanks, yeah, guys. Why Appreciate it. Alright, I don't really know what I'll do with it, but... Uh, <laughs> I'll find a use for it. Hey. Right, thanks. Yeah, you can get around faster. No problem. Yeah, appreciate it. Good luck, guys. Well, yeah, you too, man. what would you know? Would you ever believe it? I'm now the owner of a luxury car. Gunter 2, price sell. Sell. Place the vehicle inside the traffic cones. Make sure you were the last driver. Okay, there are no traffic cones, but I need to be the last driver, so let's do that. Oh, actually, we still need to be in reverse. Let's see, if I can get a quick flip on this, it'll be so worth. Yeah, it worked! 75,000, it worked! <laughs> are these boys still up here? Because if they are... Boys, I sold it. Yeah, whatever. I'll be honest. Yeah, you can keep the money. You can keep the money. Here you go, boys. All yours, bro. We, I know you said 35 initially, so that, that'll make it up to about 35. Appreciate it. I wonder how much this first aid kit is worth. I feel like it should be worth a little bit. The filaments, people are selling for quite a lot. 100,000, 90,000. But, I mean, I want to hang on to it. Pokemon booster packs. People are selling Pokemon packs for a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand each for a pack. That's not bad. Maybe I should sell this filament. Oh, it's not going to be a quick turnaround though, is it? Okay, so you need to pay some money to do is like a listing fee and that sort of stuff as well. So I probably won't do that. Okay, well, I mean, I've got some more high tier stuff that I could sell at the high tier trader. I mean, to be honest, we've made a killing off of this, off of our little car purchase that we made. 86,600 I've got now. Time to head back to base. We can store some of these valuables that we've got. I want to do a sell run to the black market trader, but I feel like that can still wait a little bit while I gather up a little bit more stuff. And that is where you get the 3D printer as well, I think, so... I don't know. Maybe it's better to just get the 3D printer on the uh, P2P market. Probably the safest way to get it. Now that I've got a bit of money saved up, I can start thinking about moving to the next stage of building as well. Which is something that I have been wanting to do, but not really been able to do at all, so... I don't know, maybe it's time to start looking at that. It's not much I have to build, it's literally a triangle, a wall... I'll dismantle... Oh, another door I suppose is probably better, yeah, two doors. So, another door. So, you need the, a triangle foundation, wall, door, and a triangle roof. That's it. Not much at all. I'll probably need some more planks though. I don't think I have enough planks. Oh, we got a server restart in 10 minutes as well, so I made it back just before that. Alright, and I'm in. We made it, guys. We can store our valuables. Oh, I forgot I've got another 20,000 in there as well. Two VHS tapes to sell. Oh, I have this car key as well, which is useless now. Ooh, I can use this scope. Because I don't have a saw. I don't like the scope at all, but it is a good long range scope. They're staying in there anyway, and this will be my kit to run with. Just make sure I've not got anything too much. Yeah, that's it. All stored, guys. So, yeah, if I was going to the black market trader now, I wouldn't have too much to sell. Only 
that, 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 that. Not really great. So, need to try a little harder than that, I think. Right, let's go check for some loot. I've got a decent amount of money now, but I still need more if I want to build. So, that's still the objective. Got a lot of Pokemon cards to get. Here we go. Narganoi. My local town. There's the beige, where the base was. The flag has gone all the way down there, look, so they have probably gone in inactive. Let's go check their base anyway. We'll see how it's looking. See if there's any loot in there. Okay, so the door is still there. But the flag's right down. Oh, best storage. Haven't seen anyone for a while. Don't know where all the players are right now. I mean, I know I play pretty stealthy, but still. Normally bump into someone every now and then. Janaris looking good this morning. The sun rising over Naganoi. Okay, yeah, this town's been looted. I'm going to keep going south a little bit. Go to Svergino, the town I used to live in. Right, here's the town. That's the base just in there. I've got coming out of the door. Base there, they got a metal door on it now. Ooh. Valhalla Viking Axe. I think I can use that to build. Okay, I, I really haven't found anything. It's barely any loot. I could either go along to Severograd or go up into the... Yeah, I think go into Severograd to be honest. There's the massive Severograd base that I pointed out before. Looking mighty as ever. The old mushroom tip base. I wonder if Severograd will be quiet or not. A bit more storage. It's that a little bit of food. Canned bacon, very nice. That's like the best food you could find. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of loot here. We got loot spawning. That's good news. Nice. Lee Enfield. Oh! Red filament, let's go. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's keep keep moving. We're getting engaged from that big base. We are pretty much screwed. But I'm just gonna turn around and haul ass. That's my that's my plan. But I'm just gonna try and get in once I'm into Severograd, stay in the shadows. Loot up as much of this stuff as I can. But if I'm finding red filament, that's that's pure bank. Ah, there's a fight for Zap Prudnoit. That's just down the road from me. It's probably too far for me to get there now. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit further into Severograd now. Come on, box of nails. We could really do with a box of nails. Survival shovel's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I'll grab it, because I think you can sell it for at least a couple of quid. A little bit of storage. Box of nails, yeah, let's go! I thought checking the cars might be a uh, good way. Good way to do things. Alright, well, seeing as we've got that and the filament, a few bits of storage, it's time to circle back around the base. Alright, and I'm pretty much out of Severograd. Once I hit these trees, yeah, I'd say that's pretty much there. What did we get? Long, small container. That doesn't really make much sense, but fair enough. Small metal. Case 5, yeah. So, a bunch more storage. You seem to always get some more storage. Oh my. Size of that base up there. That was a bit of a mid-run, to be honest, but we saved it at the end with the box of nails and the filament, definitely. Like, that's some expensive stuff. I'm wondering now if maybe it's time to sell some filament. Take, take two of them to the trader. Ah, and here we are, home sweet home. Okay, that's another 400 slots that I've got now. I was not worried about space, but look, we're uh, getting a little bit slim. A little bit slim, thin, thin on the ground, you know what I mean. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab these two filaments. I have and take them to the uh, trader take those rubles with me I keep forgetting to take those all right let's try and make some money we got 20,000 to put in the ATM two filaments two red filament 90,000 we're gonna have a 4500 listing fee 
See booster packs on here selling for a hundred thousand. This chunk guy has got he's got it absolutely cracked. Chunk. Look, he's got all these packs listed on there for a hundred thousand each. But no one's buying them to be fair. No one's gonna pay that much, I don't think, for one single pack. Alright, so let's put the rest of our money away. It's not much now. Hopefully we uh have a bit of an investment come in. I need a group account. Okay, so I can put money into my into a group account if I want, so it's got like a little bit extra. But yeah, I have a code lock and a box of nails now. Cool, 21, 21,000 left over. I mean, it's not great. We were doing a lot better just now. That's what happens when you buy a box of nails and a code lock. But it's good. That means we can expand the base now. All right, if I get this safely back to base, then all I need is some planks and I can build planks and logs. I did try find a, well, I did find a plank pile last time. But that was only because I was in a town. So I think seeing as I'm in the forest, I could probably just head out with an axe and a backpack and just probably no one's going to run across me. If they do, then I'll get killed, but it'll only be an axe and a backpack that I'll die with, so it's not too bad. But chances are like one in a million. Maybe not that low, but they're not very high. All right, and we're in. We made it, guys. Let's uh, get this show straight on the road, shall we? I'm just going to drop my stuff off because I don't want to die with it. There we go. I'll just go with this. So I need a splitting axe. Okay, we've got restart coming soon, so I'm going to take this chance and chop down as many logs as I can now, really. Cut to the speeding up cutting of me chopping these all down, I guess. Okay, let's saw some of these up. I'm going to do log cabin on this, just because I, I want log cabin, because I do prefer it. Uh, and I might be able to get this built before the restart, to be honest. So let's just have a look real quick. We've got the triangle foundation, wall, triangle roof. I'm going to need uh, another door, though. Okay, let's grab a hatchet. Actually, let's not grab a hatchet. Let's grab our really cool Valhalla Viking axe. Let's grab that. <laughs> let's do some serious building right now. Okay, read. Need a door kit. Let me grab a gun just in case. You never know what's going to go down when you're doing something like this. Oh, received a paycheck. Very nice. Okay, we're dismantling the ramp. You've been a good ramp. But sadly, your time is up. How oh, can I really not get back up in there? Okay, good job I grabbed everything. Build frame. Build wooden floor. Right, and then, yeah, now I can go back up. That's cool. Right, and what do I have? Door. Triangle roof wall, yeah, that's good. We're all good to go. What's this? This is the wall. Okay, I want the wall there. I want the door facing down the hill. Is that on? Yes, on. Yes, on. Alright, let's get building. Can I build log? Should be able to. Yeah, log wall. Doing this for you guys. Gonna have to replace some of the other stuff, but that's okay. Alright, that's built. Uh, oh, okay, I need more logs. Log wall. There we go. Close that. Need to get a little bit higher so I can build this. Which is a problem because my stuff's in my backpack. Can I throw my splash vest on the floor? It'll probably work. Just fine. Yep. There we go. Okay. There we go. Little triangle airlock. I need to uh, make another ramp. Since I lost the other ramp. Disappeared under the under the thingy. Oh, and we need a code lock, of course. Let's go, guys. Code lock's on. You can just see the numbers sticking through. But that's all we need. That's all we need. 
Looks like I'm going to need a few more nails if I want to get this done. What have we got? Wow, we still got uh, two whole boxes. I actually didn't need any nails. <laughs> I did that all with that stack of, what was it, 89 that I had? Okay, let's get this finished. Okay, I think that's right. No, that's not right at all. Well, to be fair, I can just jump down. Oh, I see the issue. It doesn't snap on the side. Just do something like this. Bring it back down towards me. There you go. I think that'll be okay. Okay, I didn't realise it didn't snap onto the side. Ooh, that's an interesting... Uh, I wasn't expecting it to go that far through. Okay, well, that's not good. It works, though, to be fair. I can get away with that. Let's dismantle. Okay, maybe I don't need a large ramp, then. Maybe I just need a little set of stairs. I just want some small ones, though. Let's say there's a small version. Oh, yeah, that's the small. That's not bad. Let's try this. See if it works. So, look, we'll just spin that that way. There you go. It's not quite right. We push that on the x-axis, yeah. Perfect. There we go. Done. <laughs> That's much better. Okay. I think I'm happy, guys. I think I'm happy with the build. I mean, I still got a lot of nails if I wanted to do more building. I think I need to hit a plank pile, really. What have I got there? 20 planks. We've got restart coming in a sec, so I want to try and loot up a town. A little bit on the restart. Hopefully I can try and get some stuff. I don't even know. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that might might get me some Pokemon cards, basically. That's all I'm going for at this point. Is just get more Pokemon cards. Oh, I can get my armor and my helmet back on. Grab this stuff again. Yeah, we're good to go. Good to go back out on another run. Base is built. We have a second section. I'm not too happy about this. I don't really like the closed door closed wall. I don't, I don't really like it. I might chop this down and rebuild so we have something a little nicer. Anyways, triangle airlock feels great. Nothing to do now, but just wait for the restart, really. Alright. Let's make sure I've not got anything too important on me. Nope. And we're going to go hit up both towns real quick, seeing as we're straight after the restart. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's, it's looking scuffed right now. What's a bit worrying is I'm going to have to dismantle those walls and build them back up with logs. But we're going to do that together, guys. So it's not going to be too bad. But I want to go now straight after the restart. Because every time I've done this, I've found Pokemon packs. So I think hitting it after restart is the way to go. Zombie. No loot on that one. Nah, just a knife hack kit. Okay, this is the shed where I normally find the Pokemon pack. Oh! No, nothing. The plan was foiled. Okay, no point going to Trader. I haven't found anything. I thought it was going to give me some loot if I turned up after restart, but that didn't work. Let's try going back to Svergino. Shit. Hit once. Hit twice. More of them, there's more of them. Th Mate, I've got an actual scope here that I can use. Here we go. No, I got smoked. There was there was loads of them. Ah, oh. oh, stupid.
stupid game. Okay, let's get a Svet spawn. You shoot people... Oh. It was mainly because I had that terrible scope on it. Didn't quite have the magnification I needed. Give me this. Oh, have I lagged out now as well? Yeah, I have lagged out. Let it be known though, guys. There were multiple of them there. I could have just ran away into the safe zone, but I didn't. I stood and fought. I took chunks out of both of them as well, and they just didn't die. <laughs> oh, not even close to dropping. I need my desert tech on me. There you go. I spawned back in. Right, well... Time to start a new life. Sorry I didn't get that job done, guys. Ah, oh, I feel so upset about that one. That one was really so close. Like, I really feel like I had it, you know? Well, at least we got the base built. And then we headed out. We didn't have anything on us that run, guys. Like, that was... Again, I really... That was a good time to bump into someone, if I had to, you know? Uh, I can just do a chilled loot run now. Pick up some of this stuff. Look. Look what I just got. Caramel. Danzen. Does anyone know what that track is? I'd, I'd never heard that before, I've got to be honest. Might be a good one, might not. Oh, backpack, look, backpack. We're doing good already, guys. We're doing good already. We got we got a record, we got a backpack. We're going to find some good loot this run, I can feel it. I feel like Svet's going to actually have some good loot, because we just had that restart. It's pretty quiet this time of night on the server. One good loot run back to base. Box of box shots. I mean, I've got a shotgun, so I may as well stick these on. First time using a shotgun in a little while, <laughs> gotta be honest. Here we go, we'll run it. Good to go. I like those mountains up there, I feel like that could be a really cool spot for a base, look at that. Maybe we'll come back down this way at some point. Ooh. Hello, massive stack of Mosin rounds. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Toy Story VHS, good find. Proper top. That's got loads of storage. Demon mask. Okay, yeah, that's creepy. I like it. Ooh, nice black shoes. I like those. Take these because they sell for a little bit, these shoes. Okay, I'm doing pretty well. I've got quite a lot of stuff. Oh, a key. Below to airfield key. That's not a problem because I can get there from the trader. Yeah, boy, finally. I've been hoping, hoping and praying to find a key. Like low, I was going to say low key. Deep down, I've been really wanting to find a key. Obviously, I would love a Pokemon pack. But that is something to actually do, so happy days. <laughs> Single crate, yeah what I paid all that money for, for 350 slots. Nice. Ooh, that guy got 191,000 from that ATM. That's definitely something I'm going to be going to do soon. It's there. The bank is there, look, next to VMC and stuff. I'm going to definitely go do that at some point. Most of the time, it seems like people don't get stopped. Like, no one's... There's obviously not, like, a base near where people respond really quick. So maybe I'll leave that for a little bit and then I'll go down there later on. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go rob that bank. I'm going to sell everything I can. Right, I could actually put these up for for auction. And then I'm going to go send it down to that key. Since I'm here now, I don't want to wait. Let's just get it over and done with now. One Mosin. No more guns. Yeah, we're good to go now. Deposit all. We got 54,000 in there. It's pretty good. Alright, and we are going to GM Trader. And then from here, we are going to Balota. Let's see where it is we're going. Hangar Control Room. Inside the Hangar Control Room. Okay, yeah, so that's going to be like a big double door hangar. I know the little, uh, I know the little rooms they mean. There it is, 3.8 kilometers this way. Is that right? Yeah, it looks about right. Okay, we have just followed this stream the whole way down, basically. Been pretty, pretty much like a little express motorway taking us to Belota. Get this key done real quick. Hopefully there's no one here. But if there is, we'll wipe them out. Mosin in hand, feeling kind of good. There we go. Here we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Swipe the key card. Got the box. M110. Uh, let's grab that armor on straight away. 
attachments, nails, attachments, nails, die hard, a Tamagotchi. We've got a couple of charms. That seems to be the usual with this thing. Okay, is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. That's ruined. Alright, we're good to go. Got a semi-auto rifle, which is kind of gross. Alright, and I'm away. I'm completely full. I'm back into the trees, though. That was a good, uh, good haul there. Two boxes of nails. I'll tell you, the only thing I didn't get from that, which I did get from the other one, was a level 2 key. In the other one, I found another key. I didn't get another key from this one. So that sort of sucks. But life goes on, I guess. I think I should start thinking about doing this uh, black market run as well at some point. Is it quicker to go there from Altar Trader? Oh, yes. Actually, not too far from Altar Trader. It's probably better to me for me to go to the Cliff Trader, and then I can quick travel to Altar and then go to the black market trader. But I may as well go for a run to there and sell, uh, sell that stuff too. I've collected up quite a lot of it now, so that should um, fetch me a little bit of money when I when I go up there. Good feeling to have made it. It's really huge that we found these uh, two extra boxes of nails. I mean, I've already got quite a lot of nails, as we know. But now that, that completely opens it up for me to get this, uh, well, the rest of the base building finished, really. For that, I probably will need a plank pile. Because I'll need a whole other stack. I'm going to be building like a whole other section. Right, let's uh, go into the vendors here. We'll do our selling here. We've got these couple of Mac uh, Macmillan CS5 snipers to sell and stuff like that. But that's everything sold. What's that? Another 39,000? Not too shabby at all. Back up to 98.5k. Very nice. Uh, I just need to get to base, really. Let's go. Let's fast travel back. Look at my desert amp outfit. I haven't actually really looked at myself since I got the armor on. But it's not the best look I've got going on right now, I'll be honest. Ooh, I could probably do with some MVGs. Is the sun just going down? Yeah, it's literally just going down. Yeah, go on, I'll, I'll turn around. Night vision goggle. Damn sun setting on me right now. There it is, the base. Finally, you can see it again. That was a pretty long run I've just been on right there, after getting killed. And with the airlock, I feel much better about opening the door into safety. We did it. Yes! So that means that we've got three boxes of nails and 93 loose. That's really good. Uh, yeah, should we take this stuff for a cell run? Go on, let's do it. Let's try it. Hopefully no one's there. Is that everything that I can sell there? I think it is. Shame I don't still have that filament. Oh yeah, I need to go to the cliff trader. And then I go there from the altar trader. Okay, so we entered this safe zone. As you see, look, 34 players on right now. It's like the middle of the night, basically, so... It should be pretty quiet. Hopefully no one's at black market, but you never know, do you? I mean, it could only take, like, five people on a server. And you just bump into people. It just happens, doesn't it? So we'll see what happens on this one. I think I've taken the safer route, so I shouldn't die en route to the black market. I've probably minimized my chances as far as that's concerned. But I could definitely still just randomly get popped. Okay, so we're going to Altar. And then now it is 2.6 kilometers to Black Market Trader. Ooh. That is at the trader. Almost definitely. 1.1 kilometers. Don't think I can get there in time to do anything about it. Sounds like someone just got rolled up on though. If I can get there quick, I might be able to do something. I put this stuff in my bag and then I can just stash my bag somewhere. Okay, I've got to try and stay calm here. I'm getting panicking a little bit. I really want to try and make a play, guys. I really want to try. More shots just up ahead. Okay, I mean, I've not come at a good time. I've walked into a team fight pretty much. I'm going to sit on the outskirts. Might be a little too much on the outskirts. Okay, I'm not going to be a bitch about it. I feel like even if I get out the top of that, shot's probably going to be blocked. I'm just going to drop my stuff and go for it. I'm just going to run in. Try and kill him. 
There's a little gap up here. I'm going to sneak through. Body bag there. Is that a player? Or is that just a bag? It's just a stash. Okay, the body's got stripped. I'm going to try and get an advantage up this way. Okay, I just grabbed what I could. I'm bailing, I'm bailing. Time to go. Okay, I got him. The only problem is my valuables are still in the tree. I could barely pick up anything. I got good stuff though. Car lock pick. Two keys. Northwest, northwest. Both for the same place. Okay, let me drop the stuff here. We gotta go try to get our other stuff. And sell it still. Honestly though, that'll be good just for the two northwest keys. Not been to northwest yet on this. Oh, night's coming. Might be a bit too bright still for night vision yet. You know, dropping down, it turned out, was an elite play. And I'm gonna go back up the top there again. Where was it? It was up here somewhere. Okay, there's his body. Okay, let's get a, try to get a look at the body, see if there's any loot on it still. Yep. Oh, he's got a detonator. Okay, yeah, I'm getting out. Bro, detonator is insane loot. Why did his mate just run off and leave his stuff? Okay, night vision on. Night vision on. Okay, I'm just gonna put this stuff in a stash here. This will do. Right, backpack's on. Come on, we're doing it. We're going for the run that we've been waiting for. Just sending it. I don't think MVGs are needed, honestly. Not until it gets a lot darker. Okay, I'm just absolutely sending it like a bat out of hell. Okay, there's no one here. Oh, this is the weapons one. I could sell the PKP for a lot of money, but I don't want to do that. Okay, 60, 60k. Oh, stash. I found a stash. Yes, let's go. Oh, look at all the guns. Sorry, I know the commentary's dead right now, guys. It's so tense. Oh my god. This is so tense. I don't know how I've pulled this off. I don't know how I've pulled it off. I'm not even stopping to look at the loot. Get me the hell away from this black market trader. I managed to get the 60k. There was a body there as well, but I didn't loot it. 
I didn't bother looting it. Sometimes you just gotta say enough's enough. I just looked down and the backpack was right there. I didn't even see the body bag until I was running back the other way. Ah, oh, what a find. Look, I got a detonator. A graphics card. Oh my god, I got so much stuff. I think half of this stuff is to sell at the thingy, but I don't care. I'm taking it with me. I'm taking it back to base. I just gotta try and get back to base in one piece now. Yes, all the stuff's still here. Can double carry that, yeah, it's all good. We're all good. Look, there's two graphics cards. There's two graphics cards. <laughs> this is gonna be a nerve wracking run back to base. I know I should do the, that way, but there were gunshots towards the trader. And you know what? I sort of just want to run away from black market as far as I can right now. All my intuition is telling me to just run this way. I'll find a safe passage. This backpack itself is really huge as well because it means that I can... Well, I can do so many things. What guns have I even got? I haven't even looked. Sig MCX Virtus. Colt AR-15. RSAS Black. 308 Omen. MG36. I've got a 338 AWM, which has a suppressor on by the looks. M110. GSG. Max for days. Okay, here's Severa. Gotta be careful right now. Gotta be very, very careful. Look at that base there. That's new. That wasn't very basey when I was here before. No one cared enough about Troitsko to fight for it. That's so annoying. If only I was at base, I would have gone for that. I've been on an adventure. <laughs> Serious adventure this time. The trip to Black Market. I, th I think we could say was a success, guys. If just got to get back in one piece now. I don't know what happened there. Because that guy shot at me and I ran off. And then he was just gone. Never saw him again. That kill on that guy was absolutely epic though. I fell down and he was right there next to me. There's an electrical repair kit there which might sell for a bit of money too. I'm not sure if that sells for money. It is going to be an oh so sweet feeling to get back to base here. I don't even know what I'm going to deposit. Because I think I'm going to sell probably most of this stuff but... I'll definitely put the box of nails that I've got away. And the keys. Alright. We're in. We made it, guys. This loot is just ridiculous. Um, unfortunately, I'm selling most of it. So let's not get too attached. Okay, I mean, if I go on my listings now. Look at all this stuff i got for sale. I don't know what's going to happen when uh, when stuff actually does sell. I guess we'll find out. Deposit all money, that's 246k. Well, with the rain coming down, guys, I think that's a natural place to end the video. Just deposited our money here. 256,000 total. And I mean, I have a bunch of items that are selling with our peer-to-peer -peer guy here. So I'm going to head back towards the base and log out there. It looks like I've got an AWM here, but this is just bugged. Uh, I don't know why that's there, but I can't actually access it, and the, the actual one is in there. But hopefully I'll log in soon, and yeah, we'll be all good. We'll have a load of money. So I want to spend some of the money, so I'm going to get a couple of code locks. Wallet and a vinyl storage case I'll get as well. Key case, yeah, grab that too. Spend some money on some stuff for base, is always fun. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the end of the video. It finally come together a little bit for us. Please tune in next week for the next episode. You know the drill by now. All best and peace. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it this far all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. Leave me a comment to let me know that you saw the whole thing. I'll see you guys next week. Take care. And as I said already, please hit that like button and subscribe if you didn't already. Peace.